As reactions continue to trail in on the federal government's decision to suspend its decision to reopen Unity schools across the country, saying the schools will remain closed until it's safe to reopen them, as revealed by the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, at the end of a meeting of the Federal Executive Council, presided over by President Muhammad Buhari. A former permanent secretary, Ministry of Education, the chairman, Abuja Diocese and Education Tax Force, Sir Dr. McJohn Wambiala, speaking to ACNN News Crew, stated that it will not be a wise decision to endanger the lives of the children. The idea of uh, changing government's uh, decision uh, about the reopening of school, for me, is, is, is a very welcome development. And particularly, you notice that the COVID-19 is on the increase, it's escalating. When you look at the figures, rolled out by NCDC, and then even if you look at it globally, countries like Australia, they've shut down um, a, a city like Melbourne that have, has over 5 million uh, people. And even in the US, you notice that the numbers are increasing. Now, it will not be a wise decision to endanger the lives of our children. So it will just be fair and proper for schools to reopen only when we are assured, one, that the facilities to prevent massive spread or community spread of the virus has been put in place, and that our children are adequately protected before schools are reopened. Meanwhile, on the issue of stopping students of schools from participating in the West African Senior School Certificate Examinations, earlier scheduled for August 4th to September 5th by the federal government, he says he supports the decision, stating categorically that since Nigeria is a major partner in WIAC, WIAC would have consulted Nigeria before releasing those dates. You recall that WIAC has also fixed the dates for WIAC exams. But Nigeria is a major um, partner in WAEC, and I think they should have consulted widely before fixing those dates. It is very good that the, uh, the Minister of Education has stated categorically that Nigeria will not be part of WAEC. Even though education is on the concurrent list, the states can take their decision. But you also recall that he has appealed to the states to toe the line of the federal government and tarry a while to ensure that the timing is right for us to reopen our schools, especially for the terminal classes or the examination classes. So I, I, I welcome that announcement and it's a big relief to those of us that are in the education sector. <laughs> 